Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Loot Masters, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a vocal lead out of just one vocal part. This is really great, something like Major Laser or DJ Snake. These guys have really made it popular right now, and I'm gonna show you how to do it inside of Ableton Live using Sampler. And I'm also gonna be using a track from the sound pack Sundown Future Pop Tracks by Famous Audio. Links to this pack in the description. Everything you hear is going to be from that song starter called Road. All right, so this is the lead that we're gonna be making. Go ahead and solo it. So there's a few things going on here and it's actually fairly easy to do once you get your head around the controls inside of Sampler. There are some pitch envelope changes and then there's some glide function all on just one little take from the vocal itself. Now what's cool about this sample pack from Famous Audio is they give you the dry and the wet version of the vocal. So what I did was just come through the vocal the dry vocal and find a spot that I liked that kind of sustained already that I knew would be easy to make sustain more if I needed to. And this is the one I came up with. If I go ahead and solo this, this is the little stab here. It's right in the beginning. So you can see that it's already kind of sustained so I can easily loop that and I know that I can probably loop it and make it not sound too stuttery. So that's what I chose. But once you actually have this inside of Sampler, you can go through and kind of just move the play position until you find something that works well. And then you have to do a couple other steps, but I'm gonna show you what those steps are. So the first thing we need to do is find out what note this is. Hey. And the way to do that is to drop Spectrum onto the track. Hey. And if I open this up, hey. you gotta look for the fundamental note, which is the lowest note or the lowest peak inside of the, the scale here, inside of the spectrum. Hey. So mine's right, right here. And if you see what I'm hovering over right here, if you check out this little box down here in the left, it says C sharp two. So I wanna tune the sample once I've found it inside of sampler to C sharp two. And that's kind of one of the first things you wanna do once you've found the little bit that you wanna use for your lead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of sampler here. So. That's the part I wanna use. I'm not gonna bore you with trying to find a sample, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. So I'm gonna jump into here. I've already got some MIDI for the lead. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this and go ahead and drop Sampler back onto the channel just so we can start from scratch here. This tutorial might be a little bit longer than usual, uh, but I think it's worth it. So I'm gonna hit the Sample tab. I'm gonna come over to my dry vocal and you can use the wet vocal. I just prefer the dry vocal just because you have more options and you can see that it's already remembered the play position from where I have it inside of the sample itself. You can see this, the play positions here and now when I dropped it inside of sampler you can see that that's where it is as well so I don't have to waste my time. But what, one thing we can do real quickly is solo the channel and just see what it sounds like out of the gate. <laughs> Okay, and what I was telling you before is you can actually take the play cursor. And move it around until you find something that sounds really good. So I'm actually gonna come back to where I had it because I think that's the best one. And remember we found it at C2. So what I wanna do is root key, move that down to C2. And we're where we wanna be. So the next thing we wanna do is kinda of make it loop. So if I come over here and hit the keyboard over here at the top, I want it to loop when I'm holding the key and I don't want it to be too fluttery. So what I need to do is turn the loop mode on and then bring that last bracket here, the loop bracket way over and bring it in and I'm gonna put it right about here and I'm gonna bring the loop bracket over here. And what you wanna do is zoom in and find kind of the same transient crossing and that's where you want to loop it so you can get rid of as much as you can the kind of clicky sound so if i come over if we zoom in right where the peak is let's come into that first trough after the big peak i'm going to come over here and we got that peak right there i'm going to bring it to the first trough let's see what it sounds like now so that's pretty glitchy still so maybe we can move it around So 
So uh, we're going to get as close as we can. And because it's not a sustained note, there are going to be some issues here. So I can actually move it over until we get it closer. As much as that da 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 da, we want to get rid of that as much as we can. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty good. And now what we can do is use the crossfade function to make sure it's a little bit smoother. So that's pretty good. And we can always come back in and fine tune that later. So let's see what we have now. And we're worried about this part. There's only one overlapping note and we wanna turn the glide function on for that. So I'm gonna come into pitch control and glide is off right now. I'm gonna turn it to glide on. And I also wanna come into, I believe, filter global and turn it to one voice at a time because I want that to glide and I don't want there to be two of the same notes. So if I come back in and where were we? Filter, sorry. And now let's see what we got. So see how it goes in and it's kind of gliding between those two notes right there. That's what we're looking for. So the next thing I want to do is come into pitch and oscillator and turn on the pitch envelope. And what I want to do now is right now it's just kind of less lead soundy and more just straight up vocal choppy. And what we can do is actually use the pitch envelope to make it sound a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is actually detune it plus 12 semitones. So if I pull it up. And that's obviously way too much, but the way we fix that is with the decay knob here. So if you can hear there, it's giving it a little bit of attack there in the beginning to make it more sound more like a lead instead of just a, a random vocal chop. If I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and turn it on. So it's really adding a lot of character to it, and it's going to help it stand out more as a lead with the rest of the music. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if we go ahead and listen to it now. Boom, we've got that sort of major lasery feel to a vocal lead. And all we needed to do was find the right vocal chop to use inside of Sampler. And remember, you can always go in and change that if you wanted to. You can adjust the loop point if you wanted. You can move the start point. You can do all these sorts of things. And inside of the sample pack, we've got the entire vocal to, to play with here. Just remember to tune it. So you gotta use the spectrum to find the root key and then go from there. But anyway. That's a quick look at sampler and how to make these types of things. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.